three weeks later. Good morning. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Let me try that again. Gotta have the aqua velva and the vitalis. I mean, we ain't roughing it. We're not savages after all. That's a little bit better. Something's still missing. Shaved. Brushed my hair. Even brushed my teeth. I know what's missing. I'll be right back. That's better. Now we're ready to go. Forget that. So anyway, How's your day going? I messed up my hair. Oh, how's your house arrest going? I'm getting really bored, man. The jail food's pretty good, but it'd be nice to go somewhere. Man, I'd go to Jollibee's right now and I would enjoy it. That's how long I've been locked up. No real plans. I just thought it would be fun so y'all could see how I was, I was looking rough, man. We've been, what is the day? I don't even know what the day is. Uh, one, two, it's been, it's only been three weeks, man. I will continue posting some videos. Not to confuse everyone, but they are older videos. Anything I'm posting right now, other than this ridiculousness, is old stuff that I haven't edited. I've got stuff, what is it, it's with the end of March. I still have some stuff I did in December that I just never edited. So we may get to that. So if you see that, you'll go, wait, you're on lockdown. No, 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 it's old stuff. New stuff is going to be here at my desk because this is all I can do or out in the field. Yesterday, I went all the way to the street, two rice fields over. Let's see what we did. We got some hello, hello. Mmm, fun. This is my first time out of the house. Really, well, I've kind of walked around this field a little bit, but I ain't gone nowhere in two weeks. And I really ain't gone nowhere now, except to this store, because they sell Hello Hello. And I've been tasked with buying Hello Hello. Hello Hello is the crushed ice, so it looks kind of like a snow cone, but they fill it with all kinds of different jellies and tapioca, sometimes corn or beans. It's kind of weird, but somehow you mix it all together and it works, because Hello Hello means mix mix. And um, it's 20 pesos, so 40 cents, and you get to keep the cup. It's a win-win, and boy is it cold. Yeah, I'm like really bored, man. Melanie has the quarantine pass, so she's going to go grocery shopping in a couple of days. I can't go with her. Wish I could. We just, it was actually, it's a second quarantine pass. The first one was just signed by the barangay captain. This one is actually signed by the mayor and it's in color. It looks much more official. Okay, we're all shaved and clean. This is as good as it looks. I know it's not much. Sorry about the thump thumpy neighbors, but welcome to the Philippines. Today's Tang Time is brought to you by Dallandon Tang. And unfortunately, I'm out of gin. Yeah, um, the alcohol ban is going to be a problem. Such is life. Wow, every time the wind blows, the light changes. That's pretty cool. It's going pretty good here. Um, it's been three weeks. Uh, so I'm getting kind of bored, which is understandable. And getting really sick of asshole neighbors. Welcome to the Philippines. Nothing you can do about that. Sounds like they're turning it down. Won't last. 
anyway. Um, nothing major going on, of course, because we can't go anywhere. I have a few videos that I'm in the process of doing. There are some things that were already filmed. So when they come out, don't get confused and go, how did you go to town and ride rides and buy all this food? Because I filmed it in December and I just haven't put it together. There's things like that. There's a lot of stuff. There's, um, there's a road construction video I'm almost finished with. I've been filming it for months and months because they've been doing this road work out here going from a two-lane road to a four-lane road with sidewalks and gutters and unbelievable. So I've been filming that for months just getting a little bit here and there and I think I'm done because they're finished and I've got me walking on the sidewalk and using our new crosswalk and everything. It's just amazing. So I have all that done. I just haven't put it all together. So I'll probably work on that one. That one's gonna be long, as in for me, it's gonna be a lot of work. So I've been putting it off because I'm lazy. We had a town fiesta in December and I just never did it because right after that we had Dinagyang, which was a good one. Um, and then, I don't remember what happened after that. I had, just had some other short trips and stuff. So the little town fiesta, I've got a decent amount of video, but it's nothing spectacular. So I just hadn't ever bothered to edit it. And now it's three and a half months later. So I'll probably go ahead and do that one and put it out because it's still, a, it was a fun day and it should be an okay video. It's just, there's nothing new going on, except this. We got plenty of food. We are not hoarding, but I always buy a month's worth of food anyway. So when we knew this was coming, I just bought a little bit extra. So we'll be okay. There's a neighbor down the way that has more food than me, and he has chickens that are laying like seven, eight eggs a day. So don't come rob me. I ain't got nothing worth robbing. Down the road, he's got it. Don't rob anybody. We're just kidding. We actually don't need like any groceries at the moment. We're not out of anything, but I think she wants to go shopping in a couple of days. So that way she can pull money out for the month from the ATM, if there's any money in the ATM, and stay ahead of the game on the shopping. We don't want to run out and then go try and shop. So while we still have two or three weeks worth of food, she wants to go buy another month's worth of food. I think that's a pretty good idea too. Uh, we generally don't give money to the family here just because they got jobs and money of their own. But right now, things are a bit tough. So I did buy a 50 kilo bag of rice and we shared that with uncle here next door, which means Melanie got this little bit because she's the only one here that really eats rice and they've had the whole bag. But if we need it, we can go get some. I don't eat much rice, so it's not a problem. It's about a quarter to six, so people are coming out because it's finally cooled off. Over here we have a volleyball game with no net, some gardening, some people hanging out on the wall, just kind of, you know, we're mostly maintaining distance like we're supposed to, but got to come out and socialize a little bit. And we all live kind of right here next to each other, so if one of us gets sick, we're all sick anyway. So we try and be careful, but you know, got to go say hi to the neighbors. Well, construction is going on on this wall and the path is blocked. So I'll go this way and find another way around. No worries. Hello. You can see the volleyball game is up and running. 
it's getting a little dark tonight, but here they're making some progress on this wall. It's going to be a big wall when they're finished. But the barangay is going out door to door delivering food parcels. They've got all these made up and they check off your house as they give it to you. It is a kilo of rice and three cans of sardines. Don't know how long it's supposed to last, but hey, it's free food. And I stole these pictures from the barangay's Facebook page because I have not left the house. I volunteered to help them on the next delivery because I just want to get out of the house for a while. The kids are still out playing in the field, but they don't go up onto the road. There is a over 65 and under 18 24 hour curfew. So if you're old or young, you are not supposed to leave the house at all. But just right here in the little field, they still play. It's probably okay. Um, but they can't really go out anywhere to get through the checkpoint. You have to have your barangay quarantine pass, an ID to prove that you're the person named on the quarantine pass. You have to have a mask. And like when you go into the store, you have to have checkpoints down the road where they check all that. Then when you get to the store, they check the quarantine pass, the ID, the mask, and make you use hand sanitizer before they let you into the store. And most stores have a one shopping cart rule because they don't want you getting too much. And there are limits to how much you can buy of any particular item. So far, there's been no shortages. We went one time and it was just a bad day. They were out of bread, which happens normally. You go back a couple of days later, they have bread. Uh, so basically, they're not out of anything. So it's not an issue. My biggest concern is going to be meat, because as I've said before, I go to the city, to SNR, to get my meat once a month. Now we can't get to the city. If we had a car, we could, but as far as any of the mass transit, it doesn't go. So it's kind of like, yeah, you can come if you can come. So we have a friend with a car, I don't know if they could then they shop at SNR as well. So I don't know if maybe she could catch a ride with them, ride in the back so they can maintain social distancing as they go. I don't know. Or we'll buy meat locally and I'll have to suffer. Poor quality pork is still good. Globe has been very good about, uh, they said we don't have to pay the bill. I'm sure we'll have to pay it eventually, but they said right now, don't worry about paying the bill. If you need extra load, just send them the code for the top off. They will send you load. So it's like they're not going to cut anybody off and they're going to keep just giving you load. But I'm pretty sure when this is all over, they're going to be keeping track and you will have to pay for all of that because I can't imagine it's free. We have always free Facebook, but free Facebook does not include pictures. I have a load on my phone so I, use, I can see pictures. Facebook and stuff without pictures would be kind of useless anyway. It's good for chat. But uh, right now, it's completely free. It includes pictures. So they're letting people, at least if you have any kind of phone load, Facebook is free, including pictures. So you can keep in touch with people. I thought that was pretty cool of them. The electric company is not taking meter readings, but I bet we still get a bill just as a guesstimate. Or next month, it'll be a double bill. Because again, I don't think we're getting it free. They're just kind of like, yeah, you don't have to pay it right now. Turkeys are chasing the ducks. Turkeys and ducks dinner. We just had our fiesta here the beginning of the first weekend of March. So it was before any of the lockdowns. That was the video I posted the other day that confused so many people asking, how did you do this during the lockdown? We didn't. But we also had, oh, I think we killed 14 
chickens and four ducks. And then we bought half a pig from a neighbor. So I mean, we had a lot. And so now the yard is empty. The turkeys and ducks belong to the next door neighbor. Oh well, I could trade them some rice. A couple kilos of rice for a bird. It could happen. So everything's really pretty good here. Um, there's only, right, last I checked, there's only four cases here in Ilo Ilo, and they were all like stable or better. They said they're all getting better. So we're just hanging out, getting pretty bored, pretty much finished Netflix. I've already finished the internet. There's nothing left on the internet to read. I've, I've reached the end of the internet and almost finished Netflix. And I'm scraping the bottom on YouTube. I got to get out of the house soon. I told one of the kids the other day, there's a jeepney parked out in the field. It's one of the neighbor's jeepneys and they're all closed now. No jeepneys, no taxis. But I was talking to some of the kids. I said, hey, we're all going to take off. We're going to SM City tomorrow. I know it's closed. The only thing open at the mall is the grocery store, the hardware store, the pharmacy, and the banks. Everything else is closed. But the kids looked at me and they go, I can't. They said, there's a quarantine. I said, they can't shoot all of us. You know, we don't have no way of getting there. I pointed to the neighbor's jeepney. I said, we're going to steal his jeepney. I said, trust me, it'll be fun. I said, we'll be the only ones at the movie theater. And they just kind of looking at me like I'm crazy, which is possible. When this is all done, as soon as this is done, I think I need a trip to Boracay. I deserve a vacation after this. Actually, I use Hotels.com usually to make my reservations. And they got a deal if you, after you book 10 nights, you get one night free. And I have one free night still on my account. So if we go to Boracay, the first night's free. And uh, I definitely will need a vacation after this. That sounds like a good one because it's close, it's easy. Just not sure how long this is going to be. Going to be a little while. So wherever you are, stay safe. If you're not under lockdown or curfew, pretend you are, because we need to flatten the curve. Stay home, stay out of it, stay safe. And don't forget your tang. Enjoy your day in paradise.